What's up guys? It's Mashnia and today, yes, I'm doing my last week and day actually. So today's my last full, no not full week, partially full week. This is my last Monday working as a teaching assistant. So I'm at school now and I basically, I work as a teaching assistant and as a cover. So when there's some teachers not in, sometimes I cover like their lessons. I've done that a few times, but mostly I'm a TA. So um, I'm not gonna do that anymore because this is not my field. If you didn't know, I'm actually gonna be a lawyer. Hopefully, inshallah, so I've done my um, undergraduate. Um, I've got an LLB law degree and I'm starting my master's in August. Um, I'm doing LPC, LLM, which is Lawyer's Practitioning Course with an LLM. So I can be a qualified solicitor um, in the future. So that's basically my field. My field is law, but I'm doing this for now. Well, I was doing it, so this is my last week. So I was doing it now, so just so that I can have some sort of work, which I can, a job that I can actually use my degree. So, you know, I'm not just doing like, I don't know, retail or something. So, um, yeah, so this is, I've got some free time now to like talk. I'm in a classroom, an empty classroom. I can tell from my background which school I'm at, so, because I'm not wearing my lanyard as well, because I don't, even though I'm leaving this job, I don't want people to know like where I was working, like which school. So it's it's a secondary school. That's all I need to like tell you guys. And um, yeah, I have a bit of free time now. This, this is Monday, the 3rd of July. And um, this is my last Monday as a teaching assistant. So that's why I put my last, because this is like one like field that I worked at, which is really good actually. I really, really enjoyed this job. I do cover, well, I this is my last week. I just keep repeating myself, sorry. So the job that I'm currently doing, the role that I do is when there's teachers, when the teachers are not in, I cover the lessons. Um, and then when they, when, the, when all the teachers are in, I basically act, act as a teaching assistant. Um, and yeah, so far I've really like enjoyed the role. Um, so I'm gonna quickly talk to you guys about things that I like, advantages and disadvantages of being a TA in a secondary school. With this job, like I, re I really, really, really enjoy it. Only things I don't enjoy is probably like PE. <laughs> I'm not really like a sportsy kind of person. I don't like being outside in the cold. Well, right now the weather's nice, but when I started, I started in January, it was freezing and we would be outside doing PE. And I was wearing like, basically like this, like a formal outfit outside. And my shoes are like formal wear as well. Like I couldn't, there's no way I can run in these. Like I already tripped over in school whilst I was at work, tripped over and I sprained my other leg, like so dumb, right? It was like, didn't like PE <laughs> only because I'm not an outdoorsy person but the actual lessons themselves are like really fun for the kids and um, what else I've covered so when I do cover work I basically get the work sent from the teachers and then so if, if one teacher is not in I basically cover that person's timetable for the day they just like email me or they send me like papers with like the lesson plan and I just follow the lesson plan and that's been great. So the reason why I was doing teaching assistant and not actually teaching is because first of all, I don't want to do the whole training, the PGC, whatever the training is to become a teacher because that's not my field. But at the same time, I wanted to be a cover, like, so because you get paid a little bit extra if you're going like, to cover for the day. So if you're a TA, you get paid a little bit less. But if you're a cover teacher for like a day, I'll get, for that specific day, I'll get paid a little bit more. Oh so, yeah. So the things I enjoy about being a te teaching assistant, basically obviously we don't do the lesson planning ourselves like the teachers do them and especially if i'm just like acting as a ta for the day i basically just help the students i, I build really good like working relationships with the students so we're obviously a professional relationship where like i i would know them more than the actual teacher themselves because they're obviously just at the front talking to 30 people whereas i get to like walk around and talk to them like one to one so I'm, i have certain students that I have to keep an eye out for, help them out a little bit more. So I know a little bit more about those specific students. And also I like the fact that when I finish work, I just finish, like I don't have to like do anything else. I don't have any like homework, if that makes sense. Cause the other teachers, they do marking, obviously. They do lesson plan, they do all sorts of other stuff. And I don't have to do this. I just come in and just, um, so I would already know, like I'll find out if I'm covering or if I'm just like a TA and um even if i'm covering i'm not doing the lesson plan i just follow the lesson plan so i'll just get like 15 minutes before like, i'll come in a bit earlier and i'll just look through what i have to like 
what the lesson plan is, what I have to teach or what I have to make the students do basically. And then I basically just need like 10, 15 minutes to kind of go through what the teacher wants me to do, go through emails and then that's it. So that's why I enjoy, especially with Zia, like I didn't want this job to be like something that I get too like dwelt into because like I said, this is not my field. Um, if this was my field, I know loads of people like really like want to be a teacher and I thought this video might be useful for them because they they want to like qualify as a proper teacher like for secondary schools but they want the experience before they do the degree so loads of my some of my colleagues actually want to be a proper teacher but they're working as a TA for now just so that they have experience they want to work for a couple of years as a TA so that they have a solid like in school experience which is good for them because that's their field but um yeah I think other advantages um as a TA yeah like I said you can get the experience of being a teacher before you even actually qualify to become one and if this is your field actually I, if I didn't do law if I'm not really into law I would definitely stick with teaching um, not just like a TA but an actual teacher I would probably teach like a level law <laughs> I like law a lot I would teach English I'd probably teach history basically I'm going to show you guys like my last day of work like my actual last day which is going to be this Thursday the 6th of july because there's a teacher there's teacher strikes going on this week so friday is not my last day because there's a strike so there's no school there um there are obviously negative sides to anything but i think i personally thought that the negative sides of being a ta it's not really like a huge thing but you do get certain like teachers like the proper teachers who kind of like treat you like they don't treat you but they kind of look you can just tell they just look at you as oh you're just a TA and it's just like some of some of my colleagues are talking about it they were like oh you know uh, they're gonna like my colleague she's gonna she wants to be a proper teacher she's gonna qualify as it as a proper teacher in a couple of years and then she plans to like come back and hopefully be a teacher in the school and then she's talk she, we were like talking about it in our break room we we're like you know it's weird how they the, the normal teachers now they treat you a bit like just a bit off just because you're a TA and then she's just like oh what if I just go get qualification and come back then what are you gonna do and it's just kind of like a bit you know sometimes not like it's not like it's not to a point where it's like a huge issue it's just like some teachers you slightly like sometimes you would get like the odd comment here and there or like teachers the main teachers would sometimes act like you're not even there like you're invisible that's that's the thing that annoys me the most and then um, I don't mind when like main teachers come and say would you help out with the students can you like go into this corner I don't mind that because that makes that's my role like that's what I'm here to do I don't mind doing that but I don't like it when like the main teacher would basically act like you're not even in the room and would like just ignore you like basically and I, I hate that like again that for me it wasn't like a big deal because I knew I was only going to be here for a short amount of time anyway so for me it's only a temporary thing but I feel like well, for someone who's like want to be a TA for quite a few years and then go on to teaching I think they would find it a bit disrespectful just I feel like disrespectful is a big word for it it's just a bit inconvenient and it's just a bit childish but that's I want to be upfront honest with you guys there so if you are like into TAs you might want to keep that in mind because if you feel like awkward so if you're an awkward <laughs> I'm not an awkward person but I know some people are very awkward and if you're like if you are awkward and then you're like a TA be prepared to have really awkward moments where you're just like ignored basically but i got a new job now so i'm going to i'm not going to say where i'm going to work so um i don't it's for privacy obviously for privacy reasons there i'm not going to say where i'm going to work but it's a lot more law-ish related so it will be good with my degree as well so that's why i'm moving and yeah i actually really really enjoy this is one of the very few jobs that i've worked which i actually enjoyed um yeah this is just actually one of like literally that probably the second job that i actually enjoyed and this is the only job where i've actually enjoyed it from like day one whereas like other jobs I'm just keeping on the time other jobs um i kind of grew into it i didn't like it in the beginning but i kind of like you know just grew into it but <laughs> this is the only job like let's touch wood like let's not drink so much like, i actually like liked it from day one so anyway i feel like i've been rambling for so long so this is like i said this is my last monday of this week of not what am i saying this is the last beginning of the week to my teaching assistant role slash cover teacher role 
So I don't think I'll be doing this again. Hopefully not anyway, because <laughs> I really hope that I'll get into like the depths of law because that's that's what I'm into. Um, that's what I want to do in the future. And um, yeah, so I'll vlog like. I think my last day is Thursday, so I'm going to be vlogging the day. So I'll wake up a little bit earlier so I can vlog in the morning and I'll show you my journey. Because, oh, that's the thing. I'll, I don't mind vlogging my journey from, like, work, from home to work. Um, like, my actual, like, train journey, like, which, like, you know, which station I'm at. Because, obviously, after that last day, I'm not going to be doing the same journey again, like, every day, Monday to Friday. So Good morning, so today is Thursday the 6th of July, so it's my last day today. I'm about to leave the house literally like five minutes, so I woke up a little bit earlier, so I'll have more time, because usually I'm like running around like crazy headless chicken trying to get ready quickly, because I wake up like a bit later now, I used to, I used to wake up so early, and then yeah, I, used to, I wake up a little bit later, but today I woke up early, and I'm very nasally, if you can hear me, I'm very nasally, because I didn't sleep well last night, Zia was like, she kept waking up at like 4am. And then I couldn't go back to sleep, so yeah, oh, I'm so like nasally and I'm so tired. So yeah, luckily I'm off tomorrow because Friday there's a teacher strike. So I'm so glad because I can't do one more day feeling like this. I feel so groggy. And yeah, my nose is actually blocked. So yeah, I sound so gross. I'm so sorry. But yeah, today is my last day as being a teaching assistant slash cover teacher. And yeah, from now on, I'm not going to work in schools anymore for now. Well, hopefully not anymore. But I just really enjoy working in secondary school. So I'm going to take you guys with me the whole day. So I want to put my shoes and socks on and like run out the house. I've got my bag packed, everything's ready. So yeah, I thought, yeah, I'd vlog the whole day. But I'm not going to vlog like in school where you can actually see like my background and stuff. Where you can see which school I'm from. Because um, yeah, I'll do that and I'll vlog my journey as well. Because obviously after today, I'm not going to be repeating my journey again in the morning head out the door and once i'm like at the bus stop or on the bus i will talk to you guys so yeah i'm on the bus i'm heading to the station all right so i'm at the station now i feel really awkward because there's people but it's like the train is two minutes away which is good and the other side is so empty that's fine Room to put my sandwich inside the fridge. The fridge is over here. So this is our staff room. Have a nice kitchenette. It's another staff room over there. Have fridges, microwaves. I love this water purifier thing. Moist filling up water. We have a fake fireplace. I think it used to be real, but now it doesn't work. We don't use it anymore. Another microwave, and it's a nice, cozy staff room. There's another room in there, and it has air conditioning. But I think someone might be in there, and they have the current exams. For AQA, so I don't want to go in there. So. And one of my colleagues have given me a card. I want to go and read it now. It's downstairs. I'm going to go. But I don't want to film in the staff room because all of my colleagues are there. So yeah, I'm going to go in now. So it's break time now. It's 10.44. So I just finished my morning lessons. So we get a break for about 20 minutes. I'm in one of the staff rooms upstairs. And um, I'm going to go downstairs to my office. And yeah, that's where my bag is. So I'm going to have a snack. And yeah, filled up my bottle in the other room. In the kitchen and yeah that's yeah morning was okay it's 10 45 finished i finished at 3 30 but i'm gonna i'm gonna stay for a little bit longer because i'm gonna say goodbye to everyone like the staff and yeah so i'm in the staff room right now one of the staff rooms and yeah i'm gonna go now hey guys my afternoon lessons i have one more and i have lunch time so yeah i'm going to my next lesson in the lift now I think my class had a room change because I have no idea where they are though. It's empty, so I'm gonna go. Alright, so excuse the lighting in here, it's dark in this lift, but it's lunchtime now, so I'm gonna go and get my lunch wow. in the fridge, so I'm gonna go grab my sandwich. Alright, so I just went into the staff room and got my sandwiches out of the fridge. I've got tuna sandwiches. I warmed it up in the microwave on a tissue <laughs> so that it's not like freezing because once it's out of the fridge, it's like absolutely freezing cold and I don't like it like that. So I've just warmed it up for like 10 seconds. I'm gonna go downstairs now because I have um I have to go to lunchtime club 
and I have to like sit with the students and eat with them and obviously I can have my phone so that's why I came up here to like get my sandwich show you guys what I'm gonna eat I've got tuna sandwiches tuna and mayo sandwiches and I've also got like a Kit Kat in my bag and I'm gonna have that and I've got my water as well I actually need to fill that up before I go so yeah I'm gonna eat the time is um 12 48 and lunch starts at 12 45 until Monday. All right, guys, so I just had my last lesson. Now I have four more tutor time, and that's only for like 10 minutes. And once that's done, I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody in the office. I'm gonna go. So I'm going downstairs now, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I just finished. I walked out. I'm gonna keep my camera up so you can only see the trees. <laughs> but yeah, so good. I said goodbye to everybody. All right, guys, so I just came to collect Zia from my friend's house. I've got her buggy right here. She's on the other. She's facing the other side. So yeah, that's the end of my day, my last day. So I went into the office. Um, I couldn't talk on the train because it's really awkward. So I went into my office and I spoke. Like I said goodbye to my manager, my colleagues. So there was just one colleague that I couldn't see because she had an appointment. But I said goodbye to her at lunchtime anyway, so it's fine. So yeah, and she texted me as well. She said she was like wishing me good luck, and she said sorry she couldn't stay because she had an appointment. I was like, I know it's fine, and yeah, this is very sweet. And yes, yeah, so I'll show you guys when I get home. But one of the girls, one of the students, made me um, a loom band bracelet. So sweet. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say her name, but she made me a really sweet little like loom band bracelet. I used to make loom bands when I was younger, but I didn't make them. She made them with beads. I'll show you guys. It looks so cute. And I was so. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I put it on, but I put it in my bag now. So I was wearing it in the class. It was so sweet. <laughs> and then one of this other girl. She gave me this like little piece of paper with a message. She was like, I'm not gonna see the message, but I'll show you guys. She did like a little, why are you leaving message? <laughs> All right, hey guys, I'm home. I started taking off my hijab and I realized I didn't do an outro and I quickly like wrapped it around my head. <laughs> so yeah, that's it guys. That's the end of my last day as an official teaching assistant slash cover teacher. And yeah, I had a good time. It's only six months, but I learned a lot and it was a great experience for me, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.